but data slices are another programmatic operator that we are building inside of our product to round out a comprehensive way to evaluate LLM outputs. So while one axis of your evaluation is something like quality, you can imagine data slices help you identify the distribution of your data. So ensuring that you're, you're generating high quality outputs for each distribution of your data or the things that your solution is supposed to be good at answering. So in this example, maybe I write a slicing function, which is just a way in which you can identify a data slice for my disputes when people are asking about disputes, as we saw in the, in the pre-prod environment. And we can see that even though my overall response accuracy is 75%, I'm actually performing really poorly when people are asking about disputes. And this not only helps me ensure that I'm building a solution that's good across all the categories I care about, but as a developer, I now can double click into my data slice on topics that are focused on disputes and do the following things. I can address bad dispute related responses. I could go fire this data off to a domain expert to say, hey, go write the gold standard response for how you're supposed to respond when people are asking about this type of dispute. Maybe I can actually upsample more good dispute examples in my curated data set. You could imagine also using these data slices in service of creating a really high quality data mixture. And then lastly, maybe this is just an underrepresented slice and I need to go back to an LLM and generate new data for this data slice uh, so that I can generate more high quality responses either from an LLM or from a human. So how do we actually make data slices manifest in our, uh, in our product. When we think about writing data slices, you can think of them as labeling functions, but instead of it, a labeling function to determine good versus bad, this is sort of the distribution of our data. So I'll just call out a couple, uh, but you can imagine all the tools that I mentioned that are at your disposal for writing labeling functions are at your disposal for writing slicing functions. So prompts, embeddings, uh, heuristics like dictionaries or keywords, regular expressions. I could say like, hey, if this fast text model uh, predicts that this the, the language is Spanish, then we should put that data point in the is Spanish slice. Or um, maybe if I see the word password, email, or username in the, res in the instruction, um, then that's probably a user asking about an admin feature. Let's go register that data slice. And so now what we get when we combine this measurement of quality via the quality model and these data slices, we get a view into our data that looks something like this. So now we can both see that for a given iteration, we can see how well I'm doing across all of my data, but I can also see slice by slice, how well am I performing? For fear of making things a little too busy, I do wanna also show that we can not only show this slice wise comparison across for a given model iteration, but we can also show it between two different model iterations. So on your left-hand side, you're seeing our first version in our pre-prod environment that was having some issues with disputes. And on the right-hand side, you can see our fine-tuned model. And if we look at the dispute slice, it looks like we actually see a 4.3% bump as measured by the quality model uh, in, this, in this particular data slice. So we feel that at Snorkel, this, this is the view that you need as a developer to actually understand how well your model is performing across this various distribution of topics that it's supposed to be good at in these various scenarios and the ability to then double click into that data slice and go directly address the problems that you're seeing from the model.